Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Arthur C. Clarke. Shouldn't we be content to be cosmic sloths, enjoying the universe from the comfort of Earth? The answer is no. Stephen Hawking. To look to the future, we must first look back upon the past. That is where the seeds of the future were planted. I never think of the future. It comes soon enough. Albert Einstein. Elon Musk sends the first SpaceX Starship to Mars, preparing the way for the first human explorers of the Red Planet. On Earth, digital fabrics are embedded with sensors and displays. Gathering data, they give feedback about the user's health, such as muscle use, sleep habits, and sun exposure. Companies merge digital fabrics with VR gaming, letting users feel vibrations and hot and cold sensations when playing. NASA's Artemis mission launches to begin building a permanent habitat on the moon. On Earth, building materials are becoming a new generation of smart materials. Bricks double as energy storage cells and are capable of data storage and retrieval. Robotic dogs are employed by fire and rescue services, police, military, and delivery companies. The first humans leave Earth for the Red Planet aboard a SpaceX Starship. The Mars astronauts use VR goggles to help keep them calm during the seven-month journey. Humans begin to interact with virtual reality artificial life. Living beings in a digital world that learn how to act, move, and interact with humans on their own, creating their own behaviors and way of life. Wearable tech is replaced by subdermal tech, chips that are inserted beneath the skin and link users to their home and robotic devices, giving them control using verbal instructions. People with medical issues are using Neuralink chips to make them better. The chip is able to restore eyesight and help people who are paralyzed to walk again. The Universal Translator is used at the United Nations, reducing the need for human interpreters and translators. Quantum computers are used in high-end chemical engineering. They are able to quickly design new medicines, biodegradable plastics, and building materials. 5G networks carrying vast amounts of data take control of transportation flow systems and self-driving networks to improve urban flow. The Interplanetary Internet System goes online, creating a computer network in space. The network is made up of landing robots, planet satellites, and Earth ground stations. A Jupiter rover sends data to a Jupiter satellite, which beams it to a Mars satellite that then sends the data to Earth. Facilities in place on Mars begin production of 3D printed habitats. Other robot factories produce water and oxygen, as well as laboratory-grown plant and meat products for the arrival of more human explorers and scientists. The first guests arrive at the former International Space Station that has been converted into a luxury orbital hotel, while a new commercial International Space Station is being used for scientific research. The rise of bioplastics takes place, created from renewable resources such as sugar and mushrooms. Reprogrammable microchips allow hardware to be upgraded just like software. Filming begins on the first Hollywood blockbuster that is filmed entirely off-world, using sets and locations in Earth's orbit and on the moon. SpaceX's Starlink Internet constellation for Earth is fully operational. The world's first industrial-scale fusion reactor goes online. 
and starts generating electricity from the fusion of hydrogen atoms, creating vast amounts of clean energy. People start taking anti-aging drugs that take away certain cells that develop as humans age. Elon Musk begins implanting Neuralink chips in healthy people to give them enhanced abilities. The first artificial intelligence judge sentences a criminal to jail. People are now working in completely virtual workspaces. Digital fabrics evolve into power assist fabrics, helping humans walk and gain back mobility in old age. They also give humans added strength and show users how to learn new physical skills. Smart tattoos are used with embedded personalized circuits that allow people to control the devices around them. 4D printing is being used to create new smart materials, materials that are able to transform their structures in response to their environment, such as when exposed to heat or light. People are now living with 3D bioprinted artificial organs. Swarm robotics start to make their way into everyday life. Fleets of robots, such as small drones or robotic ants, communicate with each other and work together. They are able to lift construction materials and become structures themselves by organizing to form a bridge. Everyday people are living with IA, brain chips for intelligence amplification, allowing their thinking, memories, and problem solving to be helped with the use of a machine. Subdermal tech is overtaken by neural links. I am not a human verification systems are in place to keep humans out. Permanent Luna Settlements Humans are living on the moon in science research stations and transit hub facilities, acting as a link between Earth and Mars and the outer solar system. A space station constructed in orbit around the moon begins operations. Billions of people around the world tune in to watch the Bionic Olympics, where humans with robotic limbs compete. People are wearing self-cleaning fabrics that are woven with micro-metals which break down dirt when exposed to sunlight. The Starshot Alpha Centauri program, founded by Yuri Milner, Stephen Hawking and Mark Zuckerberg, launches. A thousand tiny spacecrafts that are equipped with light sails and are powered by lasers on Earth get sent into space. They reach 20% of the speed of light. The tiny spacecrafts are on a mission to fly by and gather data from Proxima Centauri b, an exoplanet that is in a human habitable zone of the star system. The Square Kilometer Array goes online. Dishes across the deserts of South Africa and Australia are 50 times more sensitive than the Hubble Space Telescope and are able to pick up faint radio signals from any potential extraterrestrial civilization. 4D printing of moon habitats begin. Materials absorb solar radiation and micrometeor impacts, converting solar and impact energy into electrical energy. Moon-based construction of spacecrafts begin to be used in the further exploration of the solar system. Quantum computing-based chemical engineering creates a genetically altered strain of wheat designed to survive in the extreme cold and thin CO2 atmosphere of the Martian environment. And neural brain chips allow people to talk to each other telepathically. Humans record every event of their lives from birth to death. Inner speech recording is possible. Hackers are able to plant artificial memories. Humans have sensors flowing through their bloodstream monitoring their health. In robotics, police robot units accompany human police officers for patrols. The robot population surpasses the human population. Extinct animals are brought back to life. The first woolly mammoth is grown from DNA found in the preserved soft tissues of the long dead beasts. Herds of mammoths and woolly rhinoceroses roam in a zoo of living fossils. Asteroid capture operations begin. 
Robots guided by artificial intelligence capture asteroids from the asteroid belt and maneuver them into the orbits of the Moon and Mars. The raw materials are delivered to Mars and the Moon to be converted into materials for further off-world habitat construction and space exploration crafts. Stem cells regenerate missing body parts, including teeth and limbs. Genetic engineering adapts human bodies for the rigors of spaceflight, reducing muscle and bone mass loss from prolonged periods of weightlessness. 300,000 people live on Mars. Newborns on Earth inherit the data trails of their parents. Arc reactors are now efficient and compact. They are used as a portable power source and are employed for military and exploration purposes. People are able to rent and stream dreams while they sleep and dream together in the same virtual world. Artificial general intelligence emerges from a super quantum computer. A human designed computer achieves consciousness. It is able to learn new things and is self-aware. Interspecies communication is now possible. Robots begin to hold funerals for one another. Artificial life forms are born. Quantum computers are able to design biological life forms from scratch, from redesigning bacteria that can consume plastics to creating designer humans. The average lifespan of someone born today will be 5,000 years. An AI has the status of a corporation. A global artificial intelligence manages a global Hyperloop transit system, removing the need for commercial flights. All Hyperloop vehicles are built with self-repairing smart materials. Basic molecular assemblers are in use, letting humans create any type of food with the push of a button. Humanity is well settled all around the solar system and is exploring the outer system. Robotic transit fleets transport materials across the solar system. NASA's Alcubierre warp drive goes live. In the vacuum of space, nothing can move faster than the speed of light, but negative energy is used to warp space-time. The space behind the spaceship expands and the space in front contracts causing a warp bubble, bending space-time around the spaceship and breaking the speed of light. Mars declares independence from Earth. Humanity is declared a Type 1 civilization. They know how and need to use and store all of the available energy on their planet. The Type 1 civilization controls the weather, the sea currents, the volcanoes, the earthquakes, and has terraforming technologies. Dyson structures are built in orbit to capture the energy from the sun. Generation ships built from super lightweight and self-repairing materials are accelerated to sub-light speeds. Journeys to nearby star systems take place. Colonization of worlds around distant stars begins. Orbital cycles of Earth create a new glacial ice age. Environmental engineering is employed to warm the planet and reduce glacier growth. Humans develop new colonies at new star systems and immediately begin asteroid mining and the construction of the Dyson structures to capture energy. Dyson structures now surround the sun and distant stars. Humanity to achieve Type 2 status, the beginnings of the galactic civilization. As a Type 2 civilization, they are able to use and control the energy of its planetary system and can prevent the death of its own star by injecting fuel into it. 
humankind's consciousness is downloaded into a quantum computer core. The Matrioska brain, a supercomputer using multiple Dyson spheres, drives a simulation for humanity. Humanity is transferred into a simulation to live and travel much further in the galaxy. Swarms of tiny, lightweight robots enter distant star systems and begin construction of various facilities before the arrival of humanity. Human consciousness is transmitted as data to the new star system where robot bodies are waiting to accept the human consciousness. Robotic bodies are exchanged for biological ones, designed and grown to be suitable for local planetary environments. Humanity is on course to become a Type 3 galactic scale civilization, needing to use all of the energy available in its galaxy, with technology so advanced that space-time is their playground. At this point, humanity meets another civilization of pure numerical spirits that have been waiting in a colder space outside of the universe.